my channel. Today I will be preparing some buffalo chicken wings. Some buffalo chicken wings. And with these buffalo chicken wings, I will be using just two ingredients. My two ingredients are black pepper and red hot original cayenne pepper sauce, hot sauce. Franks, that's the one I love, y'all. And then here I have my wings already split and separated, clean. I plucked them real good, all of those feathers and stuff. Um, I had them soak in some vinegar for about 10, 15 minutes, and I rinsed them off with cool water and everything. Now they're ready to be prepared to cook. So all you have to do is go in and grab your handy dandy black pepper you're gonna need enough black pepper to coat all of this chicken in this bowl make sure you get a nice amount of black pepper on your chicken you can also go in and add salt or any other seasonings if you want but you really don't need anything else after this black pepper black pepper is gonna give it a lot of flavor and then once you dip it in this uh the frank's hot sauce that's going to give it more flavor as well. But this is a very easy, simple, two-step way to prepare your buffalo wings. It's real easy. I'm going to get them all covered in black pepper. Turn my grease on. Put your grease on high until your grease warms up. As it's warming up, I'm going to finish preparing my chicken to get ready to go in the grease. And once my grease is nice and heated up, I'll be back to show you guys how I go in and fry these wings. And then you guys will see me put the sauce on and everything. So just stay tuned. I'll be right back. Alrighty, guys. Our grease is nice and hot. You want to just take a little bit of flour and throw it in there to test your grease. Grease is nice and hot. You're going to turn your grease down to about five, about medium, medium low. And then once you get that turned down, you're going to just add your chicken wings to the grease. I'm going to fill this uh, skillet up. And be careful. You don't want to get burnt. It is going to pop as you're dropping them in there. You're going to let these fry on both sides until they're nice and crispy. Nice and crispy. I'm going to fill the skillet up. So once I get done frying these, I'll be back to show you guys what these look like. And I'm going to add salt. And also make sure you guys subscribe to our channel. Make sure you guys share. Comment down below what you think of this video. So stay tuned and I'll be back to show you guys the finished fried wings and show you what I do when I add the sauce on. Alrighty guys, our wings are finished frying. As you guys can see, they're nice and golden brown, crispy. If I tap on the side of this, it's, it's hard as you guys can hear. They're nice and crispy. You want them to be good and crispy. You're going to transfer them to a separate pan. Separate, set, uh, put the finished chicken into your separate pan. As you're putting them in your separate pan, make sure you're getting a bunch of the grease off, make, making sure it's dripping off because you don't want a bunch of grease in the bottom of your pan. And once you put the sauce on them, like I said, you're going to want them crispy because once you put the sauce on them, they're going to make them very, very soft from just the liquid being put onto the crispy chicken. So we're going to get all this chicken inside of this pan. Get it nice and drip the free of oil dripping. You guys can see as I'm doing. Getting all the grease off. All the grease. And if you don't mind soggy, like not soggy chicken, but like soft chicken, like when your sauce is on it, you don't necessarily have to fry it this hard. But we like ours crispy even once the sauce is put on there for it to have a little crunch to it. 
So that's why we like to fry ours pretty hard. Like I said, you don't necessarily have to fry them this hard. You fry them to your liking. Just make sure that they're well cooked because you don't want to be eating any raw chicken. Got all these out. We're going to let those sit there for a second. And we're going to add some more chicken to this grease as I'm adding my sauce. Be careful not to get burnt. The grease is going to pop as you're putting them in there. Careful, careful not to get burnt. I'm going to stand back and toss them in there. Alrighty, we're going to let those fry up. And I'm going to grab my hot sauce and show you guys. Alrighty guys, we got all of our chicken inside of this pan. Now we're just going to sprinkle a bunch of hot sauce on top of these. Make sure you get them nice and coated. Nice and coated. Alrighty. And you're going to take you some tongs or some silverware. And you're going to mix them all around. And you can toss a little bit more hot sauce on them. Got them all good and mixed up. Once you get it good and tossed, they're pretty much ready to be eaten. And those are my two, two ingredient buffalo wings. As you guys can see, as you guys can see, it's nice and covered with hot sauce. They're nice and crispy still. Once you get all your sauce on there, if you guys are not ready to actually eat the wings, what we do is we leave them in the pan, and then we just stick them in the oven. We just stick them in the oven, and I put it on about 170, just so they can stay warm. You don't want it too high, because your uh, wings will start Alrighty, so that completes this meal. Well, my chicken wings, my two ingredient chicken wings. I'm also going to make some homemade fries with this meal. But you can decide to do whatever you want to do with these hot wings, buffalo wings. Just make sure you guys stay tuned. Make sure you subscribe. Say subscribe. And tune in to our next video. Until next time, peace.